Greetings and welcome to my brand new channel, Lady Gardenia's Magic and Tarot. Today's reading is for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and it is for the year 2023. My dear Pisces, today I have for you a full spread, so a 16 card spread. I might be taking some clarifiers if necessary, and at the end, uh, I'm going to pull a card from the lovely Sacred Forest Oracle. I absolutely love the pictures as well as the messages. But for now, let's have a look, my dear Pisces, um, and let's see what is the major arcana for you in the year 2023. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh my, oh my dear guardian angel, my dear spirit guys and ancestors, what does Pisces need to know about the year 2023? Boom. And we have justice. Major Arcana 8. Yes, my dear Pisces, in some tarots, the justice card is number 11. In others, in this particular one, the lovely Arc um, angel tarot by Radley Valentine, it's number eight. Number eight might be significant to you. That is Source of Spirit saying your hard work will pay off. Archangel Ragwell, fear and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Scorpio also had this card come out for them. So it seems to me, my dear Pisces, and I'm saying this because the justice card usually comes out when some sort of injustice has happened to us. In the year 2023, there's something you are going to finally sort out. This could be a process in court, a divorce, uh, a separation, yes, uh, what else? <clears throat> finally signing very important documents and or papers. This could be um, a lease, yeah. This could be a loan. This could be um, the license to a new business. This could be getting married. Uh, that's a license too. What else? This could also be the deed to a new home. If you have been struggling with your health, uh, yes, your finances and especially your health. The year 2023 is going to basically balance things out for you. What I mean is something will come to justice. Yes, something will even out. You are headed to harmony to balance, to stability. Mm. You might have strong Libra in your chart, by the way. Ah, I'm just... Um, an another message is coming through. Um, yes, channeling takes a while. Um, my dear Pisces, for those of you who in the year 2023... Uh, are dedicating themselves, yes, are um, diligently working on completing their studies, this is going to happen in the year 2023. So that bachelor's degree, that license, that course you are taking, that master's degree, whatever it is, you can count on success. Now let's have a look at your tarot cards. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> pardon me. Boy, oh boy, do they want to talk to you? And all of a sudden I've got this itch on my left ear. <laughs> oh yes, they want to talk to you, my dear. Oh yes. What was I saying? Nine of Cups, Major Arcana number five, the Hierophant, 
all will be well. Yes, this is also putting order in the house. Yeah. Putting your affairs in order. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, my dear. Also a year of important decisions. A higher level of commit commitment when it comes to your personal life. Yeah. This is also attaining, finally, a more um, secure job, a more secure position within the company you already work for. And if you have a business of your, yes, your own business, uh, this is stability, definitely. Spirit guys and sisters, what the spices need to know about the year 2023. Ah, now they are satisfied. Okay. <laughs> of course. Of course, my dear. Major Arcana 7, the chariot. This is a great omen in any reading. This, my dear, means finally victory and overcoming obstacles and or hurdles, as I was saying. So the year 2023, my dear Pisces, is going to be a year where you are finally going to overcome something that has been bothering you for a while now. Okay, so let's have a look at your cards, shall we? Let me see if you can see that on the camera. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So, the very first card, my dear uh, Pisces, is what you are most yearning for. Yes, what you are most ambitioning in the year 2023. And we have, oh my Lord, look at that. I do not believe in coincidences. And you saw me shuffle these cards, Ace of Swords, my dear. For me, for me, whenever I see the Ace of Swords, it is my spirit guides, my ancestors and my guardian angel telling me, spot on, spot on. Uh, the Ace of Swords, look at that. Do you see what I see? If necessary, go back some two, three minutes. This is you finally attaining justice. Do you see that sword? The truth shall set you free. Justice shall be served. This is victory. Victory, triumph. Yes. So what you most want in the year 2023 is justice, victory, the truth. You want liberation from anything and everything that has been holding you back. You want to get down to the truth. And you see those eagles, to me they are a symbol of great power and also triumph. It is happening for you. Yes, it is, my dear. Here, your residence, and in case uh, you live with your parents, your father's re residence and or family. <clears throat> And we have Major Arcana 16 in the tower. Boom shakala. Something's going to happen, my dear. And I feel, because these two cards, look at that, they came out side by side. Some truth, yes, some truth is just going to, yes. Some truth is going to be revealed. Something is going to be finally revealed. Secrets are coming out. This card I would like to clarify. <clears throat> oh my, oh my dear God and angel, my dear spirit guys and our sisters, please clarify the Tower for Pisces.
Okay, okay, okay. You see that? That just flipped. Yes. So, <clears throat> bottom of the deck, five of cups. Something in the past really disappointed you. However, my dear, as I was saying, look at that. You might have strong Libra in your chart. You see that? Here are some scales. Here are some scales too. The Six of Pentacles is a card that I like very much. It means equal give and take. It means finally putting your finances in order, balancing things out, as I was saying. In numerology, six is the number of harmony and balance. All is well, my dear. All is well. If some sort of inheritance was owed to you, or some sort of money within the family was owed to you, expect this money to come to you in the year 2023. Actually, here in this position, we have um, anything related to inheritances as well as your mother's home and or family. So let's have a look. Boom. Knight of Swords. Yes. Yes. Out of nowhere. You see that? Do you see that sword? Look at that sword. Do you see this sword too? Here it is again. You are going to receive some sort of news. Yeah, Something's going to be revealed to you. Some sort of news is coming towards you, my dear. And it has to do, I feel, with some sort of money or some sort of justice that is owed to you. It could be something related to a family matter. And when I say family, I'm not only talking about our parents, but this could be a spouse too. This could also be a spouse. Hmm. You might also, my dear Pisces, there's another message coming through, um, be collaborating with a lawyer and or solicitor or even an accountant, someone who is going to help you. Yes, Source or Spirit are advising you to, if necessary, seek professional help. This could be a solicitor, a lawyer, this could be also an accountant. Mm -hmm. Especially if you are thinking in the year 2023, uh, you're thinking about opening your own business. Hmm. Yes. Now here, what is most going to change for you, my dear, uh, my dear uh, Pisces? I almost said Taurus. I don't know why. You might have Taurus in your chart. To me, the zodiac sign that has the golden Midas touch. Here, what is most going to change for you in the year 2023? Boom! <laughs> Look at that. I was talking about money. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles, my dear, it couldn't be better than this. This is not only a happy family, this is a well-off family. This is the building of a legacy. Yeah, the building of a legacy. This could also be, in a way, connected and or related to inheritance. Because a legacy, right, is what is passed on from one generation to another. The Ten of Pentacles is also... A card of union. Mm? And um, particularly, my dear, um, so here are two messages, my dear Pisces. If you are thinking about getting married or um, moving in together with your partner, the year 2023 is auspicious for this. It's a very good year for this. Uh, if you're thinking about having a new addition to the family, this could be a child, biological or adopted. Uh, it could also be a pet, yes. Uh, uh, I speak for myself. My beautiful pet Zara, uh, my cat, uh, to me she is family. To me she is family. Um, if you're thinking about opening your own business, it is going to be very successful. Very successful. 
And now I'm hearing that song by the police. Every little thing she does is magic. Oh, yes. You have the golden touch of Midas. Yes, yes, yes. Just like Taurus. You might have strong Taurus in your chart. There's a reason why I said Taurus. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And look here. The uh, dominant colors are emerald green, connected to the heart chakra, and also golden. Both colors related and are connected to abundance. Now, uh, speaking of abundance, in this position, the fourth card, we have your career and or work in the year 2023. Boom! <laughs> this card wanted to come out, isn't it? It just wanted to come out. Major Arcana 5, the Hierophant. If you are looking for a job, it's going to happen and you are signing papers. Hmm? If you are aiming for a promotion, go for it because you will get it. If you are uh, looking for a better position within the company you already work for, it is happening to you. If you're a freelancer, an entrepreneur, yes, your own, yeah, if you have your own business, times of stability. Because I see the Hierophant as someone who puts order in a home and or business. The Hierophant also represents peace. And yes, change too, because number five is the number of change and challenge. But the Hierophant to me also represents stability so the sort of change that is necessary to attain stability and or security the hierophant is also a card of marriage and or partnership so if you are looking for a new partner uh, you are going to get this new partner or this new sponsor in the year 2023 uh, this also means something else that the year 2023 the year 2023 is very good for you my dear Pisces as well as your business partner if that is the case or business partners plural now here my dear um, Pisces speaking about partnership and or marriage let's take a look at your love life <sighs> justice yes what was I saying <laughs> with this uh, card that came right at the beginning, yeah, came out right at the beginning for you. Notice in the Angel Tarot, Justice is number eight. This might be significant to you. And here in this tarot, the Arcanum Tarot by Renata Lechner, I think that's how you pronounce her name, uh, it's 11. If I were you, my dear Pisces, Please um, do some research on the internet on the number 118 as well as 811. So 118, 811. I see you getting married. And for those of you who do not want to get married, yes, I say this because not everybody in the world wants that, I see you moving in with your partner. For those of you who have been waiting so much, uh, yeah, f f yeah, you've been waiting so long to finally be separated and or divorced, it is happening too. Yes, it's happening too. You see those scales? Whatever you are aiming for, and here right at the bottom we have a sun, isn't it? A new dawn, the birthing of a new dawn. Once these papers, you see that, once these papers are signed, mm -hmm. once these papers are signed, these documents, you will attain balance and or justice. Even, even in your love life, whatever that means to you. For some it means um, getting married and or moving in together with their partner. And for some of you, no, it means the, the opposite. It means getting divorced. Mm. Now, a message uh, here more related to those of you who are already in a relationship. 
um, the, in this position, the 13th card, we have uh, marriage and or partnership. Let's have a look. Boom. Judgment. Major Arcana 20. It just wanted to come up, isn't it? Yes. For those of you already in a relationship, especially a long-term relationship, whether it's long distance or not, you are getting married. If that is not the case, if this is something you do not ambition, you do not want to get married, this means moving in together. So, um, a higher level of commitment between you and your partner. A major decision that the two of you uh, are going to make in the year 2023. And here I see also Major Arcan. Yeah, Major Arcana 20, judgment as a card of annunciation, yeah? announcing something. Example, getting married. But these two cards together also mean completely the opposite. For those of you who have been wanting to get a divorce and sign those papers, finally, this liberation that you are so much looking for, this, um, yes, this justice, this, um, yes, wanting to get your freedom back, this overcoming, this obstacle, it is happening for you. And why is this so, so important? Because once you attain balance and or harmony in your personal life, everything else follows, isn't it? Everything else falls into place. Yes, this is true. Even in a divorce, right? Because think about it. Some things just have to fall apart so that other things can fall into place. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I should say it because uh, out of my own experience, um, I feel that my life has totally, totally changed since I finally decided to, uh, yes, me and my ex-husband finally decided to get divorced. Uh, now we are best friends. Uh, we are so much happier. Each one of us living their own lives. I have moved on. He's moved on. I have remarried. Uh, we see each other at least once a month. And I couldn't be happier. Nor could he. Because we just needed that. We just needed um, that final push. The finally sitting together and saying, okay, it's not working. So what are we going to do? Are we going to continue making each other miserable? Or are we going to um, move in a different direction? And think about it. In the end, because you see, I see a heart there. In the end, that is pure love, isn't it? When you say to someone, I love you so much that I would rather you be happy. If you can't be happy with me, I would rather you be happy with someone else. Even if it means being happy far away from me. Yeah? Yes. A great year for you, my dear. My dear Pisces. And for those of you who are already... um. Hearing wedding bells, it's happening. Oh yes, it's happening. If not that, moving in together. Because this card, Major Arcana 7, the Chariot, is a card of engagement as well as moving in together. Oh yes, oh yes. Hmm. Pardon me, my dear Pisces, if you heard that. That's my husband. He's uh, sitting um, in the room next door. Yes, in the living room. And uh, <laughs> he's got his earbuds on. And um, he's uh, playing a, a game online. Anyways, where were we? Now, this card, my dear Pisces, is uh, what you do not see coming. So, a detail, something in your life. Something that's going to happen in the year 2023 and hasn't been revealed to you yet, but will be revealed in this year. Boom, Seven of Cups. Hmm, some sort of confusion. 
and or illusion. You will have to make a very important choice, maybe. Hmm. I just heard big purchase. If you are thinking about making a big purchase, a home, a car, something like that, an expensive holiday. So, so spirit are advising you to look at all options before making a final decision. Oh my, oh my dear guardian angel, my dear spirit guides and ancestors, please clarify the seven of cups for Pisces. Thank you so much. Boom. The world. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Queen of Swords. Mm. This is you putting order in your life, cutting out of your life what no longer serves you. With the world card, Major Arcana, 21. This is the closing of a cycle, beginning of a new cycle. You see that owl? This reminds me also of the goddess Athena. Mm. Yes, they want you to use your wisdom. In other words, if in the year 2023 you find yourself having to make a very important decision, so, so Spirit wants you to look at all options before making a final decision. Because this is going to put the ball in motion. It's a life-changing event. This might sound like a cliche, but here goes anyways. When some doors close, others open for us, isn't it? Or when one door closes, another one opens. Just like I was telling you some minutes ago, my dear Pisces, about my divorce. I feel that once I closed a very important chapter in my life with the most amazing soulmate who I absolutely love, I welcomed into my life the new, a new beginning, a clean slate. And that's how... I got here to this moment in time where I feel now so happy. This doesn't have to do so much with um, having met another soulmate, but it has to do with the fact that once I closed that chapter of confusion and of not knowing what to do, which basically makes your life really stagnant, isn't it? Shall I stay? Shall I go? Uh, shall I continue uh, this relationship or this phase in my life or should I just put an end to it? Um, it opened, how am I going to say this? It brought to my life new possibilities. There you go. And today, after two years and a half, I am a totally transformed person. Sometimes I, I can't even... I can't even, um, how am I going to say this? It's like the life I used to lead, um, you know, it just nowadays, the person I am now would never, um, would never do what I did some two, three years ago. Yes. Yes, and oh my God, my dear Pisces, I just heard this. Somebody out there, I know, I know in my heart, there's somebody out there who needs to hear this. Okay, here goes. I have to tell, tell you this, okay? Because this helped me a lot. Your new life is going to cost you your old life. Yes, because everything in this world comes with a price. Yes. This new life of yours comes with a price. Your old life. Your old life. My old life is not part of my... It's just not part of my world anymore. Yes. 
watch out, my dear Pisces, for the full moon. The full moon for you is going to be very favorable. Yes, to cleanse out what no longer serves you. And then in the new moon, to manifest. Think about it. Hmm? Okay, here, the possibility of traveling during the year 2023. And we have, boom, Eight of Cups. Yes, it is quite possible. Think about it. The card that comes after the Eight of Cups is the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment, being elated, really happy. The Eight of Cups to me is pursuing your dreams. It is uh, turning your back or cutting out from your life what no longer serves you and pursuing your dreams, um, going after your ambitions and or dreams. So, yes. Yes, again here the full moon. In this position, your health during the year 2023 and we have, boom, nine of cups. Oh my Lord, <laughs> this card wanted to come out too, isn't it? You will be just fine. Just, just fine, my dear Pisces. You will be just fine, full of energy. You will be feeling renewed. And I feel that it has to do with a major decision that you are making in the year 2023. As soon as you make this decision, as soon as you focus on the ball and you keep that eye of yours on the prize, you are going to feel so good, so good about yourself. This is you going after that ninth cup. And... Later, the 10th cup. Yes, from the 8th cup to the 9th cup and then the ninth, the 10th. Yes, yes. This is definitely you um, feeling so, so much better as soon as you put order in the house. Oh, yes. As soon as you uh, put your personal life in order, your, um, look at that, your career, you'll be feeling so, so good. And remember, what most is going to change for you is here the Ten of Pentacles. I know it's not the Ten of Cups, but it's even better than the Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Now, my dear Pisces, if any health problem arises, if you have any health condition that will bother you or might bother you in the year 2023, here is... Uh, source or spirit's advice on how to heal and we have page of cups lovely 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 what was i saying after the eight comes the nine and after the nine comes the ten. Nine plus one my dear is the ten of cups you will be just fine source of spirit want you to keep hydrated they also want you to keep special attention to your throat chakra as well as your heart chakra Mm -hmm. you'll be feeling great yes now a very specific message is coming through here guys if you feel that you should be taking vitamins maybe to feel you know more energized even those my dear have to be prescribed by a doctor in that case please do visit a doctor before taking uh anything even over-the-counter vitamins why do I say that because even vitamins need to be prescribed by a doctor now my dear uh, Pisces here the possibility of having in your family a new addition whether it's a child or a pet whether this uh, child is biological or adopted. Let's see. Knight of Wands. Hmm. Knight of Wands. Yes. Yes, there's a possibility. There's a possibility. Now, I'm going to say something very specific here goes. 
if you are not planning to become pregnant, if you're not planning to have children, uh, then I think my dear Pisces knows what to do. However, if you do want to become pregnant, the year 2023 is a good year for that. Okay? And for those of you who would like to undergo some sort of treatment or would like to adopt a child, it's time for you to move. Get a moving. Visit the right people. Talk to the right people. Sitting home. Yeah, sitting at home or by yourself or with your partner. Uh, is comfortable, isn't it? Time for you, my dear, to step out of your comfort zone if that's the case. If you really, really want, if you really desire a child, um, whether adopted or not, it's time for you to take action. And the year 2023 is going to be a very good year for that. Okay? Now here we have uh, your greatest obstacle in the year 2023 and we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is a cup is um cup well, is a card of nostalgia. Something connected to your past or a karma yes your karma uh, a past life your greatest obstacle my dear in the year 2023 could be someone in your past from your childhood this could be a sibling a friend Mm -hmm. This card I want to clarify. Because we were just talking about having children. Oh my, oh my dear God, my angel, my dear spirit, guides and ancestors. Please clarify the Six of Cups for Pisces. Boom, the head of font. Major Arcana 5, the head of font. Someone in your family. This is a relative of yours. Or something within your family. Could also be connected to here, the tower. You remember your residence or your father's residence and or family. Hmm. Something within your family, my dear, or someone. Yes, so, so spirit are advising you. There's something within your family or someone in your family who will present a challenge to you. Yes, because in numerology, five is the number of uh, change, challenge, six, the number of harmony and balance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Also, another message is coming through. My dear Pisces, I think I also said this to Sagittarius and another zodiac sign, I think Leo, if I'm not mistaken. Here goes. When in conflict with someone, doesn't matter who this person is, family or not, choose peace over all things. Think about it. We have so many options, isn't it? So many options available to us. Look at that. We have five, six, seven, a sequence. This is something that hasn't yet been revealed to you. Five, six, yeah, five, six, seven. When in conflict, when in times of confusion, uh, if you face a disagreement with someone, if, yes, 
if you have an argument, a disagreement, if you don't see eye to eye with someone, always choose peace over anything. Over anything. Yeah. It's always the best option. Put your ego aside if necessary and choose peace above all things as to maintain harmony in your life. Yeah. Let me put this card here. Okay, now here, my dear Pisces, your finances in the year 2023. Oh, and we have the Nine of Wands. Hmm, this is our wounded warrior, isn't it? So you've been struggling, I, I would say. Hmm, here, this is you putting your guard up. Maybe source or spirit are uh, advising you to, um, to save, to be cautious. Please clarify the nine of wands. Hmm. And we have the ace of pentacles. And here, the ten of swords. Think about it, my dear Pisces. What was I saying? When one door closes, another one opens. Some sort of ending, Ten of Swords, is going to bring a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. Ah, okay, I see. So, my dear Pisces, if you feel somehow defeated by something that happened in the past when it comes to your finances... Source of Spirit do not want you to lose hope. They want you to keep the faith. They want you to believe in yourself and believe in this new beginning. Because think about it. What is going to change the most for you in the year 2023? The Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. It all starts with you believing in yourself. No matter how tired, how battered, how burdened you might feel. When one door closes, a new one opens. Yeah? Another one opens. Believe in yourself, your capacity, your ability. Here, friendships in the year 2023. And we have the King of Wands. It's looking good for you. You might have a very special friend male or female, that is going to be a source of inspiration for you. This person is passionate. This person is someone able to... Um... Yes, because think about it, my dear. Um, if you... The other day I, I saw this on uh, Facebook. Somebody posted a video. It was really amazing. Um, if you hang around five losers, you'll be the sixth, isn't it? Or if you hang around four losers, you'll be the fifth. But if you hang around four ambitious, inspired people, you are the fifth. You are the people you surround yourself with, isn't it? In Portuguese, we've got a saying, Diz-me com quem andas de ti é quem és. Tell me who you hang out with. I will tell you who you are. Our future is very much determined by our personal relations. As I was saying some 20 minutes ago, as soon as you put order in your personal life, everything else falls into place. And you have a very special friend, um, male or female, who is an inspiration to you, who has had your back, someone who can advise you, mm -hmm. someone you can trust to, I would say. Uh, this card is also connected to the element fire, so fire signs, we're talking about 
uh, Sagittarius Aries Leo. This person might have strong Aries Leo Sagittarius in their chart. And here the final card, which is connected to this one. What you most yearn and or ambition for the year 2023. And here a message for your soul. Oh my Lord, look at that. You saw me shuffling. Major Arcana 19, the sun. Here comes the sun, pretty baby. After the storm. After the chaos. Here comes the sun. Yeah. Victory. The clearing of a new pathway. Yeah. Yes, my dear. Yes, this is victory. Great success, abundance, prosperity. Fertility too. The birthing of a new beginning. What was I saying with this card too? Here we see a sun. The sun. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. And I feel this card is also connected to the solar plex. Yeah, the solar plexus. Our capacity to create. Yeah, to create. To birth something new in our lives. Now, my dear Pisces, I'm going to pull a lovely card from the Sacred Oracle. Yeah, the Sacred Forest Oracle for you. Here goes. <clears throat> Look at this. Hmm? I shuffled these cards before pressing record. Here goes. Oh my, oh my dear Golden Angel, my dear Spirit Guides and Ancestors, what else does Pisces need to know for the year 2023? Guardians of the Land, Protection, card number 21. 2 and 1 is 3, the number of expansion in numerology. And in the um, Celtic Tarot, in the Sun card, you see a deer. Yes. So here goes. I'm going to read from the booklet. Obviously not the whole thing, but just the most relevant parts. Here goes. The spirit of the guardians of the land says, You are safe and surrounded by a protective shield. You are not alone. Your life is guided and protected by higher forces within this you can soar to great heights oh my lord let me say that again you are safe and surrounded by a protective shield archangel michael coming through you are safe yeah, you are safe and surrounded by a protective shield. You are not alone. Your life is guided and protected by higher forces. Within this, you can soar to great heights, just like those falcons. Which here are symbol of great success and triumph and power too. That is amazing. That is amazing. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, my dear. I hope you liked this. If you did, please give me the thumbs up. Share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a future reading of mine. What else would I like to say? Please comment on this video. I would really love to get feedback from you. If you are interested in a private slash personal reading all you have to do is send me an email to book that. You can find my email address in the description box of this video. And uh, soon I will be uploading some more content. Until then, all the very best to you and your family. Bye.